Hello and welcome to the June edition of the First Friday video. Today we are coming to you from the Learning Commons, which is on the first floor of the Dean B. Ellis Library. This month I have a special guest with us, Christy Costello, who is the director of our Writing Center. Thank you for joining me this month, Christy. Thank you so much for stopping by. Tell me a little bit more about the Learning Commons. The Learning Commons is a one-stop shop for a wide range of academic services, including the Writing Center, the Communications Center, the STEM Lab, TRIO programs, uh, and a wide range of tutoring and other services. And you specifically head up the Writing Center here in the Learning Commons, right? I do! The Writing Center assists the university community, students on campus and distance, traditional and concurrent, faculty and staff, with all kinds of writing assignments, projects, at any step of the process. Whether it's an, an assignment for their composition class, a research paper for their history class, or a piece of fiction they're working on for fun, whether they've barely started or have a polished draft, the Writing Center consultants will provide guidance and feedback. We offer one-on-one -on -one, in person and Skype sessions by appointment and drop-in. We also work with graduate teaching assistants and faculty all across campus to develop and refine writing assignments and rubrics. That's great. People who watch these videos know that helping our students stay at a state and complete their degrees is one of our top priorities. It sounds like the Writing Center is really important to every Red Wolf. How, do you, how can people get in touch with you? They can call us at 870-972-3451, visit us here in the library, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and email me, Christy Costello, at kcostello at astate.edu. The Writing Center staff is here and ready to help at any time classes are in session. During the fall and spring semesters, we're open five days a week and evenings. During the summer first session, we're open from 9 until 5, Monday through Wednesday, and 1 to 5 in the afternoon on Thursdays. Thanks for joining me, Christy. I appreciate everything that you and your staff do to help all of our Red Wolves. Speaking of completion, last month I had the privilege of presenting a record number of degrees to A-State graduates. May is always one of my favorite months because we get to celebrate the ultimate achievement of our students. This May was extra special thanks to a pair of milestones. The first was congratulating the 90,000th alumnus of Arkansas State University, Nate Todd. Nate and his wife, Marsha Bruno Todd, were both completing their master's degree. At the afternoon ceremony, I had the privilege of participating in the awarding of the 18th honorary doctorate in A-State history. For now, Dr. Neil Griffin, it marks 70 years since he graduated from then Arkansas State College. He provided sage words to all of our graduates. We alums owe it to Arkansas State to make sure that in addition to the funding from the state of Arkansas, that we fund this thing to the maximum ability of ours to get a strong and committed a faculty. Equally important is, and this is the alums have to do it again, we've got to provide facilities, whether it's buildings, research, what have you, but it is our job as alums to fund this. I also had the opportunity to meet with hundreds of alumni at the annual Red Wolves on the Rooftop event hosted by the ASU System Office. It is incredibly uplifting to visit with our former students and to hear how Arkansas State made a difference in their lives. At the end of May, I had the chance to speak to our colleagues at Saitama University in Japan and to meet with A-State alumni living there and to potential recruits for Arkansas State as well. You'll hear more in coming weeks about the exciting new degree program that we have with Saitama as we work to expand our opportunities for our students to study abroad. The academic side of campus is a little quieter right now, but along Red Wolf Boulevard, construction is rolling along. Our ceremonial groundbreaking for the Red Wolf Convention Center and Embassy Suites marked a milestone moment for our campus and the Jonesboro community. The North End Zone project at Centennial Bank Stadium is also going full speed ahead, and our new Welcome Center that we featured last month is reaching its final stages. In May, we celebrate our first ever Staff Appreciation Week adding events to the traditional Staff Senate picnic and Staff Awards ceremony. On behalf of the administration, faculty and students, and supporters of Arkansas State, we cannot thank our staff members enough for what they do for our PAC. At the awards ceremony, we also celebrated the retirement of dozens of faithful staff members. Our campus is changing as well. Our provost, Lenita Cooksey, announced her decision to retire after the upcoming academic year. Another of our long-serving administrators, Dr. Rick Stripling, decided to change roles with the university to focus on two special projects very dear to him. Also, in response to meetings I've had with our faculty on our campus and people in our community, we have decided to create a new College of Engineering and Computer Science in an effort to meet the educational demands for our region. 
Next month marks the one year anniversary of my arrival here at Arkansas State as your chancellor. It's been an exciting first year, but I firmly believe that the best is yet to come. For some of you, when you return this fall, we will already have begun the process of establishing new academic and administrative leadership. I'm looking forward to working with you as we begin new projects towards our goal of making this university, your university, the best that it can be. Remember that even though it's summertime, you can always reach me at chancellor at astate.edu and on social media at KDAMP. In fact, I'm counting on each of you to send me your best wolves up from your summer adventures so we can feature them on our A-State social media. All right, folks, until next month, wolves up. <laughs>